it's an introduction to digital forensics so if i have more time i will do a separate lecture on uh, more linux command <clears throat> all right so remember the course uh, you know title is digital forensics so we're going to start by defining what is digital forensics and of course you know uh, once we do that we will highlight the main uh, issues and the main features of digital forensics so what is digital forensics of course <clears throat> you know the name comes from of course the digital and forensics so it has two parts the first part is the of course is uh, you know forensics and usually this is a, a law enforcement science so essentially before the you know advent of computers before they came and became mainstream it was essentially, you know, checking, you know, uh, fingerprints, checking, you know, uh, the weapons, checking, you know, uh, all these things, the evidence for a crime. So forensic has to do with the law enforcement science. Of course, as computers, you know, uh, that's probably in the 50s and 60s, the digital revolution happened, you know, when, when things started becoming more digital. <clears throat> So when things became more digital, right? So that's when we started looking for digital forensics. So the second part is, of course, the digital. And hopefully you know by now that digital means, of course, those binary zeros and ones that you store into the computer, into, you know, any computing device actually. So whether it's a floppy drive, zip drive, CD, D, you know, a hard drive, of course, those are the old uh, assistants, right? So nowadays you have your, you know, your iPhones and you have your Playstations and, and so on. Okay. So, of course, the process of digital, how do you create something digital? Right now I'm talking to you through the mic and the mic is essentially capturing my wave, you know, a my pressure waves that are coming out of my tonsils right or my vocal cords actually <clears throat> and they get what uh, digitized so that the process is called the ad the process of converting information from analog to digital so of course if you take a course on communication or networking we go over the ad in more details right that's what i do in networking but you know if you you know in general the ad is of course the analog to digital and when you reproduce the information we do the reverse which is digital to analog right so when you listen to the lecture the you know the digital data of my voice is going to come through the speakers and those speakers they're going to convert the electrical signal that uh, that is generated from the binary you know a representation as uh, you know as uh, of course the uh, pressure waves okay so uh, life of course is mainly analog right so a lot of things in real life our image is analog our audio is analog a lot, a lot of vibrations are analog but of course we digitize them in order to store them in order to process them in order to enhance them in order to filter them so that's why we create things in digital format so so once it is inside the computer, remember, A to D essentially brings the outside world into the inside. So when you take a picture with your, uh, you know, uh, camera, when you record a video, when you record a, an audio, when you scan an image, right? When you, you know, uh, capture a sensor, all of these are analog to digital. So sensor might take the temperature, right, and display it. Or it might, you know, measure, I don't know, the, the, you know, the gravity, the gravitation on your iPhone, right? Like, I don't know if you know, but the iPhone has probably almost 20 sensors in it, built in. So it has gyroscope, it has magneto, you know, uh, sensors, it has, of course, uh, uh, all these sensors. So that's how it knows your GPS. That's how it knows, you know, if you fell, uh, you know, when you're doing exercise, all these things. All right. So now things are inside your computer in digital format. 
but now we're focusing of course on on forensics not on networking or signal processing.